Hello, all. <clears throat> it's your girl Tiffany, Madam Luscious Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond, also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight. If you would be so kind to like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Uh, this is going to be a quick little mini read for the overall collective of any zodiac sign. Okay, guys? So, <clears throat> um, I have some oracle cards already pulled for you all, already pre-shuffled and pulled here. Okay, so we have the horse king. Okay. Can y'all see that? The horse king. We have the word Lord here. Sorry about the lighting in here, guys. We have Sacred Union, the Rainbow Prince, the Well Watcher, okay? Okay, guys, so what I see here with this, okay, um, the Horse King, um, It really has this energy of someone in a power, someone in authority, um, someone of influence or leadership in some type of way, okay? I'm going to just be honest with you all, okay? Somebody is going to come into your life, okay? And they're going to come in under the pretenses like they want to provide you some type of assistance. But the only reason why this horse king is coming into your life to offer you some type of assistance is to control you, okay? Because the horse king talks about assistance and control, okay? So this person is coming in to offer you some type of assistance only in an effort to control you, okay? So with the word Lord here, Okay, so like I said, someone who is a ruler, a master at something, someone in power, someone of influence, a leader um, in some type of way would be called a lord. It's actually called that in another deck that I have in my room. Okay, um, this person, this horse king is someone who is in power, someone who is an authority, okay? They're going to come in like they want to assist you. They want to help you. They want to lend you a helping hand, okay? But it's only in an effort to control you, okay? Um, I feel manipulation going on here, okay? But this person in power, they're going to come through with some type of communication. They want to talk to you, okay? Um, give you some type of communication about something. They may even come off as they are praising you for something, okay? But the, the word Lord also speaks to dishonesty. They're going to be lying through their freaking teeth to you, okay? They're going to give you that feel-good message. They're going to say the things that they think you want to hear, um, that uh, whatever they can say or do to win you over, okay? So they're going to come in like they want to assist you. They want to help you, okay? But it's only in an effort to control you they're going to um, contact you um, via message somehow you're going to get this message news information or communication whether it be a letter phone call email what have you this communication is going to come through this person may even praise you for something here you see how this person is sitting here writing here this person looks like a scribe or a writer here is what it would be called um back in the day they were called scribes okay but that's just um that's a old fancy term for writer or author in today's time, okay? So you could be a writer, um, you could be a poet, you could be an uh, inspiring author, okay? This person is going to send you some type of communication, even give you some type of praise, okay? But they're going to be lying to you, okay? They're going to even try to offer you some type of assistance of some kind, okay? perhaps even give you some type of offer here, okay? Because the sacred union speaks to partnership, okay? This person wants to have some type of sacred union for you, okay? So this assistance that they're coming in with, like I said, is in an effort to control you. This communication that you are receiving, this praise from this dishonest person in power is going to try to get you into partnership with them, okay? But something is malicious about this something is sinister about this something isn't right it is a trick 
of the devil. It is the trick of the enemy, um, okay? Because the sacred union speaks to partnerships. It also speaks to romance, okay? So this person is going to come in like they want to give you some type of assistance, offer you a partnership, probably get you into some type of bogus contract, okay? At some point... Um, come on to you sexually, um, uh, with, you know, uh, come off with some type of sexual undertones, okay, because this person wants to control you, this person wants to manipulate you, okay, but they're going to come in, and they want you to let your guards down with them, okay, and a way of what they're going to say, and what they're going to do, okay, coming in with this assistance, coming in with this communication, coming in with this praise, but also also coming in with this manipulation control and dishonesty you know is a partnership here in the middle here they're also going to, to to intrigue you offer you some type of compensation because that's what the rainbow prince speaks about it speaks to compensation it speaks to um um Press, uh, perseverance as well here, okay? So this person is even going to offer you some type of compensation of some kind. Finances, money, resources, something of materialistic value of some kind here, okay? In an effort to try to persuade you to lure you in. They want to lure you into this partnership, lure you into some type of contractual agreement, okay? Give you some type of compensation, offer you compensation for something here okay and then we have the well watcher now the well watcher speaks to wisdom okay power of the divine here okay so i feel like this is you you are wise okay i feel like you should be able to see through this what's going on here okay because you have the power of the divine working through you okay you have wisdom okay because the overall the card that we have at the bottom of the deck here we have the swan queen here okay you are the swan queen the swan queen talks about transformation it talks about intuition and it it talks about patience okay so you are high you're someone who's highly intuitive you're very wise whomever you are okay um you have uh the wisdom and the knowledge of secret information um as well and i feel like you have transformed beautifully okay into this swan princess that you are okay so you are going to be able to see through um through um this horse king that is trying to come into you this lord this person in power here okay we even have the lady of lightning that sits in behind this queen of uh the swan queen here okay this talks to surprises okay sometimes shock okay a total um paradigm shift here okay so you may even be shocked or surprised by something here okay but remember to listen to and trust your intuition here okay remember to use your wisdom and allow it to guide you okay because you have the power of the divine on you okay so i pulled some extra clarifiers for you here we have the ten of cups okay now the ten of cups speaks to gatherings reunions celebrations um it also can speak to families but it also speaks to endings and completions okay so this horse king who wants to come in like they want to assist you with something uh could be someone within your family here but this person is only doing this in an effort to wrap you around their finger only doing this in an effort to try to suck you back in only to control you in some type of way here okay but this doesn't necessarily have to be your family this horse king could be someone in power who is trying to come in and give you some assistance okay um like they want to help you help your family okay but it's in an effort to control you <clears throat> We have the six of wands here that sits on the word Lord here. Now, the six of wands speaks to success, triumph, 
victory, even public recognition of some kind here, okay? So some type of communication and even praise is going to come through to you. But like I told you, this communication and praise that is coming from this Lord, okay, is dishonest, okay? There's something dishonest about this 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 communication, this praise here, okay? You could be getting publicly recognized for something, okay? And there's going to be communication that flows into you, okay? Even praise for someone. Oh, good job. Way to go. That was great. Keep up the good work. No matter what kind of praise it is, okay? There's going to be conversation from someone. This person wants to get in your comfort zone. They want you to lower your barrier walls, okay, around you, okay, and want to smother you with some type of dishonesty, okay, and this is based off of some type of success, triumph, victory, or public recognition that is coming in for you here, okay? So we have the fool that sits here on sacred union, okay? Now, I told you this person who is coming in with this communication, coming in like they want to assist you, yet they want to control you and are going to be dishonest to you, they're going to offer you some type of sacred union within a partnership. This is why I feel like it's some type of contractual agreement, okay? Because this person wants you to be foolish, wants you to take a blind leap of faith into this partnership or romance with them, okay? Um, um, and, 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 and based off of dishonesty, okay, this would be a bad decision, okay, because I told you they're already trying to control you here, okay, and they're wanting to bribe you with compensation here of a large lump sum of money because we have the ace of coins. Now, you could be coming into a large lump sum of money, okay, and it's no coincidence that this horse king here, this Lord wants to come trotting in after this um, abundance come in for you. Or this could be this person coming in with this Ace of Coins. That could be what the assistance is, okay? But the Rainbow Prince talks about comp uh, compensation. It also talks about um, per uh, perseverance, okay? Some type of abundance of money, large lump sum of money could be coming in to you, okay? And this could have something to do with this public recognition, with the success, this triumph, this victory of something here, okay? But you're going to have to make a decision because we have judgment that sits here on the well watcher. I told you, you are the wise one. You have wisdom and the power of the divine, okay? You are the swan queen who has transformed beautifully, okay? This speaks to intuition as well as patient. Be patient in your decision making, okay? Before you blindly take a leap of faith, you're going to have to make a decision and you're, go you're going to have to make some type of judgment, make a decision, and you're going to have to use your wisdom and your intuition, okay? Allow that to guide you, okay? Because we have the seven of wands at the bottom of the deck, okay? The seven of wands speaks to endurance, okay? It taps into burdens, hardships, problematic situations, okay? A lot of things weighing heavy on your back, okay? When someone is enduring something, there it's 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 like a suffering card, okay? It's saying as to how much someone has had to in you know endure something, okay? Um no matter what this is here, okay? I feel like you would have to endure a lot just to get this um, this abundance here, okay? You would have to endure a lot, okay? So you want to make sure that you are making the right judgments. You want to make sure you are making the right decisions, okay? Because there's some type of betrayal. There is some type of betrayal that is looming behind the scenes, okay? There's some swift communication that's going to come into you from a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo person here, okay? But this person has ultimately betrayed you or is either trying to betray you here, okay? 
in reference to some type of money here, okay? And they're working hand in hand with a, uh, to bring about some type of change as well. They're working hand in hand with a queen of wands, a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo individual, as well as a queen of swords, an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. My God, there's a group of people, okay? You've got a queen of coins, a queen of wands, a queen of swords, and a king of cups that's all working together against you. But this, they're going to send this queen of coins in, this Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo in, okay, with some type of fast communication into you, okay? This person has ultimately betrayed you, or they're trying to ultimately betray you. These people have stabbed you in your back multiple times. They're going to try to bribe you or blackmail you out of some type of money, okay? If I were you, I would not even speak to these people. I would not even answer the phone for these people here, okay? There's definitely some type of betrayal that is going on around money, around change, okay? And around these people here, okay? They're trying to trick you. They're trying to trick you, okay? You need to be very careful with this situation here. They're trying to send, and, and with this Ten of Cups here, this very well could be someone in your family that wants to come in like they want to assist you, okay? Like they want to help you, but they're stabbing you in the back the entire time. They want to manipulate you. They want to control you here, okay? You're going to get some type of communication that comes in from someone, but they're, they're dishonest. They're disloyal. They're lying to you, okay? Somebody is even, may even come on to you like they want a partnership or a relationship or romance with you and they want you to be the blind, dumb fool to fall for it, okay? Because th these people may know some money is coming to you and they're trying to steal this from you, betray you in some type of way here, okay? But you need to, you need to use your wisdom and your intuition to make um, the correct decision. In this situation here, okay? Because, yeah, there, I, I definitely feel like that there's something, um, there's something brewing behind the scenes, something malicious going on. Yeah, we have blinded to pain here. These people have caused you so much pain. These people, this your your family has caused you so much pain, so much heartache that you are blinded to the pain now. Okay? Yeah, we have gilded regret here. These people only want to come in with some type of communication to you because they could feel some type of regret as to how they betray you, as to how they stab you in your back. But they're being dishonest. Okay, they're not going to tell you the truth. Yeah, we've got masquerade here. They're going to come in and act like they want a partnership or romance or relationship with you, but they're, they're wearing a mask. They're wearing a mask. They're going to be lying to you. They want to trick you. They want to manipulate you. They want to control you. Okay, these are fucking parasites and leeches. Okay, and you don't need to have anything to do with them at all. Spirit, clarify a uh, rainbow prince with ace of coins. Rainbow prince, ace of coins, please. We have forgetting oneself here, okay? Yeah, they want you lost in the sauce. They want you to forget yourself, okay? They don't want you to listen to your wisdom. They don't want you to be wise. They don't want you to listen to your intuition or anything. Yeah, they want you to forget yourself, okay? Yeah, look at this. Because they want revenge on you for something. They want revenge on you, okay? 
And I'm telling you, this is this is the energy that I felt. I knew that this energy was not right, okay? I knew that this energy was not right. Anybody else will tell you, oh, somebody's coming in and they're going to offer you assistance. They're going to contact you, send you some type of communication. Y'all are going to have a great partnership together. You're going to make a lot a lot of money here. You're, 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 you're going to use your wisdom to be powerful for the divine and everything's going to be peaches and creams and great. Absolutely not. No, I'm not going to tell you that. I'm not going to tell you that. Yeah, we got bride in a cage at the bottom of the deck. That sits in behind fated to suffer here. Somebody could be even trying to uh, 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 bamboozle you into a relationship. You see, you see this witch, this evil, dark, demonic person here trying to give her this poisonous apple. Be very careful with relationships. Somebody could be trying to poison you. Bride in a cage here. Somebody can play pretend like they want to be in a marriage or a commitment with you just to have you stuck, restricted, unable to move. Just to have you caged, imprisoned in some type of way. Okay? Mm-mm. Yeah. So y'all be very careful, okay? This is your brief reading. I do hope the information um, provided has given you the truth and the clarity you were seeking pertaining to a situation that you were dealing with, okay? Um, your family, okay? Um, your family, ex-friends, ex-lovers, they're not to be trusted, okay? I know that's hard for a lot of people to hear. Um, it may be hard for you to fathom, hard for you to deal with or whatever, okay? But it, you got to put your big girl panties on, your big girl draws on, or uh, uh, big boy draws on, okay? And just face um, reality, okay? Because this is not right. This is some, your, your people closest to you are trying to bamboozle you. They're trying to get over on you. They're trying to hurt you, harm you, okay, in any way that they possibly can, okay? And you need to get away from these people. I'm not going to lie to you, okay? If I seen a beautiful family coming together of bliss and abundance, love, passion, romance, financial stability, security, running off into the sunset with brand new beginnings, I would tell you, okay? I love love, okay? I love happiness, even though I've never had happiness or love. If I seen it for you, I'm going to tell you, okay? So I'm not some Debbie Downer, okay, who don't want anybody else to experience love or happiness or fulfillment or anything like that. If like, if I see it, I'm going to tell you. I'm like, this is great for somebody. I'm, I'm loving this for you if I see it. But if I see anything else, I feel anything else, it's my moral responsibility to let you know that as well, okay? Because some people, a lot of people are just living life to the best of their ability. You know what I'm saying? Their intuition may not be that much on high. They may not be all that wise. It doesn't mean that they're ignorant, they're dumb, and they're not good people. It just means that they may not have necessarily have gifts that other people have. But if I have a gift to be able to feel something and see something that can help you, save you, teach you, guide you, uplift you, awaken you, warn you or something, then I'm going to let you know that, okay? Because it, it might be something that I could say that's, that, that is going to help you or your loved one or someone that you do care about it, that you're dealing with, you know, in some type of way. And that is the point, Okay. But somebody is coming in like they want to be of assistance to you, but they're only doing so in an effort to control you, to manipulate you, to get over on you, okay? Individuals in your family or individuals whom are close to you, okay? You are blinded to these people's pain or you have been blinded to a lot of the, the, the pain that they have caused you, okay? But these people have caused you all type of scars and bruises and, 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 and uh, uh, war wounds and everything, okay? And it's time for you to no longer be blinded to the pain, the pain anymore. Okay, because you have endured enough by these individuals. Okay, and if you are a full grown ass adult, okay, you're not a baby anymore. Life don't stop for anybody. Okay, life is not going to pacify or, or cradle rock any fucking body. You got to know how to survive. 
You got to know how to make it and you got to know how to stand on your own two feet and continue to strive for it doing the best, you know, in, in, in the best way that you possibly can. And that don't mean shit ain't going to happen. Life ain't going to happen. It ain't going to, it doesn't mean you're not going to have ups and downs. It's not, it, it doesn't mean that everything is going to be okay or be comfortable for you. Are fulfilling and abundant for you okay but at the end of the day you still always have to do what is best for you okay and even if it means you without nothing and nobody at all for the sake of your own sanity for the sake of your own health and well-being for the sake of your own security for the sake of your own mental stability then so be it Because I would rather be alone than in the company of evil, wicked, demonically possessed as individuals who do not have my best interests at heart. Who will hurt me, harm me, kill me, stab me in the back. Any fucking chance they got. You can do bad by yourself. You don't need no help with that. So I'm just here to warn you and let you know, whatever you're going through, you know, your own personal situation, somebody, whether it's a family member, a fake phony ex lover, fake phony ex friend, or a complete stranger is getting ready to come in and act like they want to offer you some type of assistance, but it's only in an effort to manipulate you and control you while they continue to stab you in your back. I thank you all for listening. I thank you all for watching. If you would be so kind to like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Um, for those of you who would like to contact me, you could do so at tiffanyziggler60 at gmail.com or at tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com. You can follow me on Instagram at shinebrightlikeadiamond36. If you're interested in donating to the channel, I do thank you in advance. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. And you can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign tiffdiamond36, or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash at 36 diamond as always guys take care of yourselves take care of each other but most of all take care of your babies remember this is a wicked wicked world that we live in there is wickedness in high places and there is evil that is lurking around each and every corner even in a neighborhood near you so y'all watch your surroundings watch the company you keep watch the surroundings and the company in which your children are in as well and considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you backstab you try to hurt you or harm you keep you some protection on you y'all stay awake stay aware stay vigilant and stay prepared because if you stay ready you ain't got to get ready baby until the next time peace love and light namaste i am that I am created in the image of God.